Hello people that the house are doing today we're doing hate comments uh so let's just get right into it so uh so the first thing is you nationalist prick you have nothing else better to do in life but give out about in the United Ireland and about us unionists Hashtag you are a little cunt But first of all I'm not a little I am fucking about I'm about seven foot to be honest with you. No I don't know about six or seven foot well not a foot so I could actually tower over you and I tell over you so much that your mum wouldn't even know who was who. I say you're only about one foot. I say you're, you're a bit of a left car lad. And you're saying that you're a unionist. I, I say you're just a tiny little leprechaun that has nothing else better to do but be a little leprechaun with no letter. With no life but a little leprechaun with only his pot of gold and nothing else to spend on because you're that selfish that you won't spend money on anything. Get roasted. Oh. Fucking... I need to go and see some psychologist. Well, I already did, but I uh, fucked up very badly. So, uh, next question says, this is always about the United Ireland. This is the amount of backlash I get from union. This is ridiculous. You fucking selfish little prick. Are you calling yourself that? Oh, isn't it? at least you admitted it. It's good to admit it, lad. It's good to admit it. Let me tell you, if you're selfish, then it's good to admit it. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna get boxed some of these days and somebody's gonna shoot me or bomb me or something. I swear to god, some of these days somebody will do this. Uh, next question, next, no, next question, next fucking hate yoke and folk that I'm not sure always gets. Uh, this is on Twitter actually, so I said I'd just kick this in. You are a fucking little, little, what's that saying? You're a, you're a little faggot with no life. That's kind of the same thing as he said. And your suicide stories, you should have just killed yourself when you had the chats. We wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit all the time. Oh, here, lad, give me a bit of a break, lad. It's it's no joke. Suicide and mad the hell is no joke. It does happen in this country. It's no joke. And it, this, you should be ashamed of yourself for even making a fun of people that have mad the hell issues. Or you can make fun of me, but don't make fun of other people. It is. There's tons and tons of people with mad the hell issues and suicide issues in this country. And you make it fun of them too. I don't care if you make fun of me. You can make fun of me all you want. You can even come down here and kill me if you want. You can come down here. I don't have no problem with you. I have no problem with you coming and kill me. But if you're going to make fun of every other person that has met the health issues in this country, you have something definitely wrong with you. Because it could happen to you. You could wake up in the morning and then your brain could be all melted up on you. And sadly that you might take your own life. And think about that. Think about that. And don't be giving me lectures on this. I know myself. I'm a little selfish little cut that has nothing else better to do but give out about other things. I know myself. I'm not that big of a green green goblin that I don't know. I know that I have no life. I know that. I'm very, very, very aware of that. I'm really very, very aware of that. So you don't have to tell me because I'm very, very aware of it. And my phone keeps sending me Twitter notifications. What the fuck? And me turn it off before I started this video and then it decides, oh, I turned it back on again. Anyway, that's off topic again. Because I keep getting off fucking topic in this gaff. Um, so, um, I just tried to get my nose around what to say before I say the thing. Because I don't want to be annoying anybody or being a bit of a... Because this country's fucking retarded sometimes when it comes to racism. Uh, well, I don't know really what this person's trying to say. Uh, just trying to get my head around what kind of what way could I frame it that wouldn't be that bad. Uh Sounding, I mean. All right, you have no friends. You have no girlfriend. You're just a useless, selfish little cut that has no life. And you should be, you should be in, you should be in Red Hills. Oh, that's the biggest disgrace ever. Fucking Lally Bow and all that fucking shit. You should be in Red Hills. That's the big, oh, fuck, I can't even tell you how bad that. I, if I find you, I come for you. I put you into a cult or something. <laughs> I put you into a cunt. Well, that's my reaction. <laughs> First of all, lad, you're from some place I don't have a notion where you're from. You're from some part of Ireland, and you're saying about Red Hills like it's a fucking joke, lad. It's not a joke. Wait and you see, they'll be fucking leading this country in a few years to come. Fucking, if they're leading this country, then I'm fucking gone altogether. Then I'm losing my power, or whatever the fuck I'm losing. Anyway, I lost my mind, so it doesn't really matter. I lost, if I lose my power, then it's fucking alright too. 
I don't know how it pissed off so many people in this country. And I, I wouldn't mind. I'm trying to do my best for the country and people just lecture me on it. I mean, I know what I'm... I honestly do know. I learn for history, from history. I learn from my mistakes in history. If we do this wrong in history, we do this now. So, yeah, that's really all. I don't really have much else to say. I, sorry that it took me a few minutes to kind of get my head around what I was going to say about it because I didn't want to sound that bad. And I know you have right for your freedom of speech, uh, to be honest with you. So I can't really give you that much shite, to be honest with you, because I kind of do my freedom of speech too often too. So it's a kind of right for criticising me and annoying me. I kind of pat on the back, but uh, I know I'm a selfish little cut that doesn't deserve to live, but I know that, I know that. Many people tell me that, so I'm very, very aware of that, but the only, the only thing I can say to you is for that, because that's a really annoying comment to have. After you surviving the whole ordeal last March, it is really hard for the sea and really selfish of the person to say that because it could actually happen to you and uh, and you wouldn't like it if I said it. I wouldn't even say it if you came out of a mental health issue or suicide prevention issue or anything like that. I would give you all the support I could. That's that's as simple as that. I wouldn't joke about it. Like that is just purely selfish and evil. Like, the only thing I have to say to people about this, because there's so much backlash I get over that too, for over that day in March. It's just, it happened, it happened. We can't change the past. We have to look forward to the future and to a better nation and to a better country and to a better leadership in this great country of ours. I'm fucking sounding like a person, I don't know. But that's what I think about it, so... If you have a comment on suicide for now on, please just keep it to yourself. Or I will come, and I'll make sure that you won't say anything else again. Because it is, it does affect a lot of people. I don't, I don't want to block your freedom of speech, but please don't... Hurt me, because that really hurts me, what that person said about suicide. That really does hit me straight in the set of my heart. The other ones really don't, to be honest. The other ones really don't. So yeah, take a watch and subscribe for more and bye.